Just in case the NASCAR season hadn't had enough drama, Bubba Wallace said, hold my beer. Coming up, next. What's going on today, everybody? Hope you're doing good. All right, let's go ahead and get the Bubba Wallace conversation out of the way. Whole separate video. I'll make another video on Joey Logano winning and Kevin Harvick retiring. But... In case you didn't see it, Bubba Wallace hooked Kyle Larson because he didn't appreciate the way he was driven. He didn't like the uh, hard racing or whatever you want to call it. Kyle Larson admitted that he crowded him too much and said it was his fault. But Bubba Wallace hooked him basically on the straightaway, which is uh, just something you don't do. It's really dangerous. Uh, he went driver's side first into the wall at 180 miles per hour. So it's really dangerous. And it's a big deal for several reasons. The first reason it is a big deal is because... Bubba Wallace is driving the 45. The driver of the 45 just retired because of this car, because of safety concerns, retired before he wanted to. Uh, because of safety concerns, the owner of Bubba Wallace's car, the 2311 owner, Denny Hamlin, has been very outspoken about how unsafe he feels that this car is. So optically, from that standpoint, that makes it a big deal. The other reason it's a big deal is because Bubba Wallace was the driver who did it. Bubba Wallace is polarizing for many reasons. And all of the stuff you're seeing online, you're seeing sort of why he's polarizing for many reasons. The low-hanging fruit, of course, everybody's going to be like, oh, everybody that doesn't like Bubba Wallace is because they don't like the color of his skin. That's not necessarily true. While there are fans like that, they're very few, to be totally honest with you. They're just a very vocal minority. <sighs> Unfortunately, they are a vocal but you have them in all sports, and every time something like this happens, everybody blames it. All, all NASCAR fans are like that, which is a really tired and old argument. Actually, most NASCAR fans are not like that. But actually, that right there has nothing to do with this because Bubba Wallace did something totally, just totally ridiculous, and he spun, he spun the guy on the straightaway. So that was just not good, and he's probably going to get a suspension for that. However, I don't know if NASCAR can suspend him for that because, well, Noah Gregson has done something very similar, didn't get suspended. Carson Hosevar has done something similar, didn't get suspended. And Ty Gibbs has done something on multiple occasions uh, that was very unsafe, including on pit road where he almost sent the 42 car into officials. He didn't get suspended. So I don't know if NASCAR actually has a leg to stand on at this point because they've officiated the season so poorly where they can suspend Bubba Wallace in good faith, but he should get a suspension because it was an obvious retaliatory move. It was dangerous and is unsafe, especially in this car. But that being said, it really shouldn't be any bigger deal than that because, you know, it really shouldn't. It's just a driver lost his cool. It's not like in that moment he was thinking, oh, you know, this car is unsafe. I'm really going to stick one to Kyle Larson. No, in that moment, he just lost his mind. He totally lost control. And you saw he totally lost control. He's just a hothead. He's got a really bad temper. And he hadn't cooled off yet. He got out of the car. He went over there and he pushed him. That's whatever. NASCAR hasn't penalized any physical altercations outside of the race car all season. So he won't get a penalty. For, there's no way he gets a penalty for that. If he gets any type of penalty or suspension, it will be for right hooking him. But anyway, he pushed him. And then even in the interview later on with, with the pit reporter, I can't remember which pit reporter was interviewing him. I think it was Matt Yoakum. Uh, but he goes and uh, he's, he's giving the interview with the pit reporter and he's just being really, uh, he, you can tell he's still mad. Uh, and he's just, uh, <laughs> he told the guy to stop fishing and stuff like that. The guy was just trying to do his job. So He's got to get his temper under control at the very least. So hopefully he learns from this and gets his temper under control. But yeah, like, you know, everybody else in the world, uh, I assume Bubba Wallace will probably get suspended for this because it was one of the most unsafe things you could do. And all the other stuff around it is sort of deflection, in my opinion. He should get suspended. That should be the end of it. But all the people arguing on Twitter and social media and all that stuff, just stop. Just stop. It's, it's, not, it's not any bigger a deal than it is. He, he did a very dangerous thing, which is a big deal. But people are making it bigger than it necessarily needs to be. Uh, and that's just my take on it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. Uh, and that's all I got for you on this one. Uh, like I said, the other two videos are coming. Of course, if you made it this far, feel free to subscribe down below. If you got a comment, question, leave it down in the comment section. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.